on yesterday's bomb blast at uh, Rameshwaram Cafe. We have Bharati Janta Party has demanded that the state government has to hand over the investigation to NIA immediately. Secondly, last week incident at Vidhan Sauda, wherein supporters of uh, Rajya Sabha MP shouting slogan inside Vidhan Sauda, Pakistan Jindabad. This Congress government did not act swiftly on this episode also. In fact, Bharatiya Jinta Party demanded the arrest of those culprits, those anti-national elements who shouted uh, Pakistan Jindabad inside Vidhan Sauda. But till date, the Congress government is hesitant to arrest those national anti-social elements. And even after five days of this, of, of this episode, even today, the government has not yet received the FSL report. Firstly, government should, have, should not have waited for FSL report. Immediately, they could have arrested those uh, people who were involved in this incident. But instead, Home Minister himself claimed that nobody has shouted or uh, shouted uh, Pakistan Jindabad and still they have to wait for uh, FSL report. But today, there is strong rumours that FSL report has already reached the state government. But state government is hesitant because I was told the report has confirmed that the people, the anti-national anti elements did shout Pakistan Jindabad. It has proved, it has been proved in FSL report. But there is strong report that uh, government is trying to bring in one more FSL report, uh, which, which will be obviously it will be a forged report. So I strongly demand Chief Minister Sidramayaji and also I demand uh, Home Minister Parmeshwarji not to delay anything, any this thing in this issue, but to bring out the facts before the people of Karnataka and urge state government to act swiftly on this issue. The BJP is demanding resignation of CM and as well as Parmeshwar, Home Minister Parmeshwar on the both incidents. See, so this is not the first incident which is happening in our state. After this, Congress government has come to power in Karnataka. Repeated incident, whether uh, uh, the episode which took place in Shumoga during Tipu Jayanti, where uh, few uh, culprits enter, barged into a Hindu house, they pelted stones and literally they threatened our Hindu people, Hindu community, leaders belong to Hindu community. So openly this is happening in our state, especially after Congress has come to power. And unfortunately, the attitude of the ruling Congress party, their appeasement attitude, their minority appeasement politics has stooped to such a level, today it is threatening the security and safety of the people of Karnataka. So that's the reason why Bharatiya Janta Party has taken up this issue and let me make it one thing clear. Bharatiya Janta Party is not trying to do politics in this episode because it's a, it's a big issue, it's a, it's a question of security, uh, Kanindiga security and we are not bringing, uh, trying to do any politics here. But the delay tactics of the Congress Party, the delay tactics of the ruling Congress Party is hurting the sentiments, not only sentiments, it is threatening the security of our people of Karnataka. So BJP has tweeted today morning that Pakistan has a love with uh, Pakistan. Hmm? We have tweeted that BJP, uh, BJP has tried a Congress true love towards the Pakistan evidence. It's quite evident. See, our demand is see, we are not blaming minority in this issue. Okay. I'm not I'm not claiming that uh, the people who are involved in this incident are all are minorities, but most of the culprits who have been identified they belong to one particular religion. So when it comes to bomb blast, when it comes to sloganing of Pakistan Jindabad, why does Congress government wants to bring in, why do, why do they want to bring in a religion here? See, this anti-national element does not belong to any religion. They are totally anti-nationals. So Karnataka government, Congress government has to take strict action 
against these people. Do you recommend to the government to change their mindset on this management? No, not question of recommending. By this time, the, the attitude of this Congress government as well as ministers clearly indicates that they will stoop to any level when it comes to appeasement of minorities. For example, in DJ Hedley, KJ Hedley episode, wherein uh, few people belonging to one religion barged into the house of a Dalit MLA, that was a Congress sitting MLA. And today, after Congress has come to power, the same Congress, I mean Congress MLA, uh, demands the uh, Home Minister to take back the FIA. So what does it mean? So we are going to protect all the people who are uh, involved in the anti-national activities. You want to protect all the people who, who are uh, acting against the interest of the state. So that's the reason why Bharatiya Janata Party is demanding the present uh, Congress government here in Karnataka stop your uh, minority appeasement politics. But in the, in the interest of the state and also in the interest of the nation, we should take the right decision and move forward. That is our demand. In Kalpurgi, sir, in last three days, two murders have been uh, registered. So this is not the first episode. Especially in Gulbarga district, which is represented by a, uh, by Priyanka Kargeji, responsible minister, and also son of uh, uh, Malikajan Kargeji, national president of the Congress party. Lot of gundaism has been reported in the district after Congress party has come to power. And in the last three days, two Bharatiya Janata party workers have been murdered.